good morning guys welcome back to my channel today I'm just going to be doing a vlog video um, I don't have too much planned today I know I've got to go to the store in just a few minutes because I'm out of eggs my I kept my nephew the this past weekend my mother keeps my nephew and she went out of town for a few days on vacation so I kept my nephew so she can go have a little break and um, so we've just been hanging out here he finally went home yesterday I took him home last night and my house is a total disaster so I've got to do a cleaning video um, I haven't quite got that up um, filmed yet so I might do that either today or tomorrow I might just tidy up and then just do a clean with me video tomorrow um, but today I've got to go up to the store I've got to get some eggs because he doesn't eat that much so I remember when my kids were small and they didn't eat that much either but it's a little dark in here because it's so gloomy outside it's been storming the past few days we had a, a tornado come through and it's just been really gray and dark outside but anyways uh, like I said I've got to go to the dollar store I've got to get eggs because I would make him an egg and then he would take like two or three bites and then wouldn't eat it and then he wouldn't eat anymore after they were cold so um, and I don't think he was feeling very well either I think he was maybe getting some earaches uh, so I got him a little bit of medicine for that just in case it was hurting it wouldn't hurt him that much and my mother's gonna take him to the doctor tomorrow I think she said just to um, make sure he's doing well and he's just a ball of fun so I love having him over but it's so quiet today because my husband's at work my daughter's at school and I have absolutely nothing to do I mean I've got stuff to do but I want to film it because I've got to get this house clean I think I'm just gonna tidy the house up and then just do a cleaning video like I said I don't know if I'm gonna do the cleaning video today or if I'm gonna do it tomorrow and get that put up but uh, I am gonna do that so plus I am super super tired uh, he didn't sw he didn't sleep very well while he was here so we were kind of up and down for three days and when he did nap I was trying to nap with him but I just couldn't go to, go to sleep I kind of slept in this morning I woke up this morning to get my daughter on the bus we wake up about 5 30 and she gets on the bus about 6 40 and uh, so I just kind of laid in bed for a few minutes I slept good last night I did sleep good last night I think my body was just trying to catch up on sleep since I didn't really sleep that much since my nephew was here. Um, like I said, I think he's getting an ear infection or an earache, something of the sorts like that. So he really didn't sleep all that well. So I just kind of went to bed. I went to bed about 12 last night because I was trying to catch up on emails and get some stuff out for you guys. I had a company contact me wanting to do a collaboration um, I'm not sure how that's gonna go so we're kind of talking back and forth and seeing what we can do but other than that that's what I'm doing so I think I'm just going to run up to the store really quickly and grab some eggs because I need to get some eggs because I think I've got like two left and I want to have three eggs for my lunch now I did when I get up excuse me when I got up this morning I did do um, some exercises I worked out a little bit on my 
bike. I did a 45 minute session on my bike and then I just did some stretches and then I made me some coffee which you've probably seen that in the intro. But it is now one o'clock actually it's 1 10 and I'm starting to get a little bit hungry so I think I'm just going to run up there really quickly grab some eggs um, I'm not sure what we're gonna have for dinner but I'll just take you throughout the day and show you a little bit of what I'm doing maybe chit chat a little bit and this weather has got my sinuses all messed up you guys and my lips are so dry so I've been trying to keep some chapstick and stuff on them just to this weather this weather is the most bipolar weather ever it doesn't know if it's going to be cold if it's going to be hot rainy sunny it doesn't know so we have all four seasons in one day so um let's see what I've got else going on today I do know that I have to wash my sheets um, so I've got to get those going sometime today and then I'm just going to sweep them up and kind of pick up a little bit and then save the other for my cleaning video but right now let's go to the store all right guys I just got back from the store I stopped by the dollar store and picked up some stuff um, I was going to film on the way there, but I forgot my camera, so there's that. Um, so I'm just going to show you what little bit of stuff that I picked up. It was a really quick run. I just got some stuff for dinner, and um, yeah, let me show you what we got. Okay, I just picked up a little taco kit because I figured it would be good for dinner tonight. Um... So, this is just the hard and soft shelled taco kit. Um, as you see, it comes with the sauce and the seasoning mix. And then I just picked up some tomatoes, some eggs, and then I also got a little bag of lettuce. Um, because I don't have any, I didn't want to get a whole head of lettuce because then it would just sit in the refrigerator and just go bad. So I just picked up a little bag of that, a small little uh, container of sour cream. I picked up a little bit of chicken. I can separate this into two, um, just four pieces. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I just picked up some more deodorant and some toilet paper. So, yeah, you guys, that's all I got from the store. Like I said, it was just a little mini grocery shop um, just to pick up a few things that I needed. I figured making some tacos for me and my daughter tonight because my husband is going to be at work. Um, so it's just going to be us tonight. So I didn't really feel like making a whole bunch of stuff. So, I figured tacos would be fine. Um, and we haven't had them in a while. I will make my own taco shells out of some of the cheese for some keto tacos. Um, because I don't have any of the flour, the low carb taco shells that I normally get. I don't have any of those. So, I'm just going to make some out of the cheese. Um, also... Um, I don't know what else I'm going to make with it. We just might just have the tacos. I'm not sure. If we want anything else, we can make a quick run back up to the store if she wants anything else. But, yeah guys, that's all I've got today. So, now I'm just going to go ahead and put some, put my sheets on to wash because I've got to get those cleaned. Um... And I think that's it for right now. So let's go get these sheets off the bed and get them in the washer.
going to be making me some lunch. Now I'm just going to melt some butter in a skillet over medium low heat, crack in three eggs into a bowl along with some whipping cream, give that a mix, pop that in the um, skillet, give it a mix and let that cook. Then I'm just going to add in some cheese and uh, let that melt and add in some salt and pepper and that is what I will be having for lunch. <music> Okay guys, I'm sorry for the way I'm looking, but um, I am currently on my computer right now and I'm just going through emails and checking all of my DMs and everything. And I got quite a lot of DMs from a few subscribers on Instagram about how to start the keto diet and what the keto diet is. Now, uh, before I jump into anything, I just want to explain to you what the keto diet is. The keto diet is a high carb, excuse me, the keto diet is a low carb, high fat, moderate protein lifestyle. And when I say lifestyle, it's not a diet. You can label it as a diet, but it's more of a lifestyle because it's going to change the way that you pretty much do everything in your life. The way you eat, because in the way you look, you're going to lose weight and everything. But when you start off with the keto diet, make sure you go in with some research. Make sure you do your research before you start the diet. Make sure you do research before you start the lifestyle. This will help you out in the long run. This is going to help you out on knowing what you can eat, knowing what you can't eat, how to do your macros, how to log them into a chronometer or a carb manager app whichever one that you use. So make sure you do your research. Now what the keto diet is, like I said, it's a high fat, 
moderate protein, and a low carb lifestyle. You're going to do about 70% of fat and you're going to do 20% protein and 10% carbs. So that is pretty much what the keto lifestyle is and that's pretty much what you're going to evaluate your everyday life around is your carbs, fats, and proteins. And you're going to lose weight really quickly uh, on the keto diet. So especially the first a month or two, you're going to lose a lot of weight on, you know, just like your body flushing itself out with the water weight. So you're going to lose between 5 to 15 pounds within your first month of doing keto. Now, the reason that I started keto was weight loss, which is a majority of the reason why people start keto is weight loss. Now, there's some of you out there that started keto for other reasons such as your health or some odd something like that but that's why I started keto was to manage my health and not only that get my weight down to where I want it so that way I can live a more healthier lifestyle it will also help with um, not only weight loss it will help with reduced inflammation in your joints um, you'll have better focus, better clarity. You'll have a lot more energy when you start the keto lifestyle. And I've noticed that I've had a lot less headaches when I started my keto lifestyle change. I've got fewer and fewer headaches. I don't really get that many headaches now. If I do, I'm usually, it's that time of the month and or I'm like really stressed out. But other than that, I don't hardly get headaches anymore and a plus you're going to feel so much better you're going I mean just inside and out you're going to feel so much more better and you're going to get a lot better quality of sleep and I've noticed this as well because before when I um, started before I started my keto lifestyle journey really wasn't sleeping that well um, I would wake up all times of night and uh, just get up and won't be able to go back to sleep. But now when I go to bed, I go to bed rather quickly. Um, unless I'm reading a book or watching TV before I go to bed, I go to sleep you know, rather quickly. And I sleep harder, deeper, if that makes sense. So you're going to get a deeper quality of sleep. And another thing is you need to change your mindset from eating all of those sugary, carby foods to eating healthy fats such as butter, tallow, um, not like margarine butter, but like real, real butter, um, and healthy fats such as coconut oil and avocado oil, olive oil, you know, stuff like that. You don't want to eat the bad fats. Now, um, when you start with the fats in uh, the diet, um, you need to track your macros. Now, um, an app that I use is the Carb Manager app. You can do the MyFitnessPal. You can do the Chronometer. I know a lot of people like the Chronometer. But I personally like the Carb Manager app. Um, it's better for me. Um, but you can do whichever one that you like. And just make sure that you are logging everything that you eat. So that way you know when you're getting close to the limit on your macros. Um, such as your protein and carbs. Um, and you try to hit the fat protein the fats as well as you can I know sometimes it's hard to get all of those in there but as long as you are logging in your macros into an app such as the carb manager app or chronometer you're going to get a better um, definition of what to eat 
and how much to eat. It's going to help you stay on track so that way you lose weight faster and you feel better faster. Um, but I do recommend when you when you start your keto journey, I don't recommend that you start counting your macros first. I would recommend that you eliminate all carbs as possible, such as breads, pastas, um, carby vegetables, carby fruits. Um, you can limit your fruits, such as berries. Berries are really good. Just make sure that you're not eating a whole bunch of it because you don't want to um, kick yourself out of ketosis. So watch yourself on the berries. Maybe a quarter cup of berries to begin with, but eliminate like your breads, your pastas, your potatoes, um, grains such as oats and rice, no corn, or um, eliminate as much sugar as possible, if not all sugar. So uh, there's that. And I know it's going to be a shock for some of you to eliminate all of that, but it's going to help you in the long run. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have a cheat meal once in a blue moon, but be sure to um, make yourself in ketosis for a long period of time before you have a cheat meal. And uh, then that will help you stay on track. And when you have your cheat meal, make sure you go right back to your keto lifestyle that very next meal. Don't wait till the next day. Have your cheat meal and then the next meal you go right back to keto. Now such things as healthy fats, I would stick to things like real butter. Make sure you get real butter. There shouldn't be anything in butter except for milk, cream, and salt. That's it. Um, unless you have, you know, herbed butter. You can have like herbs and stuff in there. Just make sure there's no oils or anything like that in there. No preservatives or anything. So make sure that you just get real butter. Milk, cream, and sugar should be the only thing in there. Like I said, unless you get an herbed butter or something like that. Um, like I said before, make sure you do like healthy oils such as avocado, coconut, or olive oil. You can do things like bacon grease or a tallow. Any kind of um, rendered fat like that will be great on the keto diet. It will help you get in those fats. Um, and focus on, you know, implementing better cuts of meat like um, lean meats, um, like lean cuts of beef, um, 90 percent ground beef or something like that. Um, make sure it's grass fed, grass finished, grass, can't talk today, grass finished or grass fed butter, if not both, um, because it's going to be better for your body to digest. Um, and that goes for beef, pork, and chicken as well. And if you do fish or seafood, make sure it's wild caught. Um, it's going to help your body digest that better. Um, and if you do like eggs, make sure you can get your eggs like at local farms or do the best quality eggs that you can purchase at your local grocery store. Um, let's see. And another thing is like, I've got my notes here in front of me, but, uh, I just wrote some stuff down that helped me along the way in my journey. <clears throat> When you start your keto lifestyle, make sure you stay away from all keto treats within your first month of starting keto. That is going to help you stay on track and it's going to help with all those sweet tooth cravings. Now, I am a big sweet, sweet person. I like anything sweet and that helps me a lot during my first month of keto. I don't have as many sweet tooth cravings anymore, but I do have those cravings every once in a while and then I will make me a treat but during your first month or so when you start the keto diet stay away from all keto treats um this is just going to help you um transition into the keto lifestyle a little bit better 
and it's going to help you stay on track. Um, but if you do get a sweet tooth craving, try salt first. Um, just add a little bit of salt into your water or to whatever beverage that you're drinking, like your coffee. Or if you like tea, make, you can put some in your tea. Um, and try that first and just wait a few minutes because sometimes your receptors in, on your tongue get confused and y your body might be telling you that it wants something sweet, but you're probably wanting something salty. So try salty first and then if you still have that sweet tooth craving, then you can do your um, a sweet treats. But I wouldn't recommend having them every day. I would try to stay away from them as much as possible. Um, when you get more familiar with your um, keto lifestyle, you can start tracking your macros. You can far, uh, focus on your net carbs. Like when you go to your carb manager app, you can go into your settings and you can click on either total carbs or net carbs. Now I track my net carbs and it just helps me stay on track. Now I don't track every day, but when I get a little behind myself, I will go into my app and I will log what I'm eating that day. So that way I can, you know, say, oh, I need more of this or I don't need to eat so much of this, if that makes sense. So uh, when you get more familiar with how and what to eat on the keto diet, you can start tracking your stuff, uh, what you eat. So it will help you, you know, determine what you need more of, such as you need more fats or you need less proteins or you need a lot less carbs, whichever one, if that makes sense. And another thing is um, to replace your minerals on your keto diet. Now, the keto diet flushes your body, especially when you first start. Like I said before, you're going to lose between 5 to 15 pounds, if not 20 pounds, when you first start your keto lifestyle. And that's just because when your body's transitioning, it's flushing all that bad stuff out, and you need to replenish that. So make sure you drink a lot of water and replace your minerals. You can buy um, um, Celtic salt, Redmond's Real Salt, or you can do um, pink Himalayan salt. I do the pink salt or the Celtic salt. I've I had some Redmond's Real Salt, but I'm out and I need to get some more of that. So just make sure you're adding salt into your diet because your body really needs it. And then plus it's going to help with the keto flu. And you're not going to feel horrible when you get the keto flu. Um, you might have a stuffy nose, you may have a headache, but it's not going to make you feel like death warmed over if you implement your salts back into your diet. Now, another thing that helps me when I started my diet was the um, little electrolyte packs from Prove It. Um, I just stocked up on those and those helped me get through it as well and it just replaces all those electrolytes and minerals that your body's depleted of when you start your diet. So make sure you stock up on your minerals and your electrolytes when you start the keto diet. And like I said, um, drink plenty of water and uh, consider taking magnesium. This is going to help your, your body in the long run and it's going to help um, if you get tired or lethargic or something like that, you might be lacking some um, magnesium. So Calm is a good brand. Um, I do recommend Calm. I do take Calm. Uh, I don't take it every day, but when I'm getting that lethargic feeling, I'll go in there and I'll just pour a little bit into a glass of water and stir it up and drink it and then I'm good to go. So I would consider taking a magnesium of some sort. Um, and definitely add a fiber into your diet because um, some of the foods that you will eat do not have a lot of fiber. So you're gonna want to implement some kind of fiber in your diet. Now what I do with this is when I make meals, I will sprinkle the top with like um, some type of fiber. Um, this will help fill you up. I do use flax seeds. I love flax seeds. I love baking with flax seeds. I love topping my foods with flax seeds. 
because it's going to um, give your body a little bit of fiber. So I definitely would consider adding flax seeds into your meal. And you, like I said, you can bake with it, you can cook with it, you can add it into like puddings or something like that. Um, just however you want to implement it, I would suggest you implement some kind of fiber into your diet. This is one thing that I did take when I was starting my keto diet was exogenous ketones. Now there's a lot of brands out there that do exogenous ketones, but I like the Prove It ketones. They're tasty, they kick you into ketosis quicker, and they leave you in ketosis a lot longer than any other brand. So if that's something that you would like, I will leave a link down below for the Prove It website and you can go check that out. Um, it gets you into ketosis 15 in 15 minutes or less and it keeps you into in ketosis within you know it keeps you in ketosis about four hours five hours so it's going to help you with your keto lifestyle so I would consider taking that um, I would start implementing some type of intermittent fasting now you don't have to but if that's something that you're interested in, I would start out slowly and then work your way up until, until you get to like a 16, eight hour fast. Now, when you get to a 16, eight hour fast, that's when I would start implementing longer periods of intermittent fastings. Now, I don't say that you should do it, but it's completely up to you. I do a 16 8 hour fast when I stop eating at 8 o'clock and then I won't eat again until maybe 12 1 o'clock the next day and that's just giving my body time to digest what I put in it that day if that makes sense so I would definitely look into intermittent fasting so do your do some research on some intermittent fasting and uh, if it's something that you're interested in you can implement that into your lifestyle like I said you can start off with um, smaller intermittent fastings like a six hour fast or then work up to seven hour fast just work your body up until you get to the 16 8 hour fast and then you can work on other intermittent fasting areas okay and another thing when you start your keto lifestyle the fats that you eat are going to keep you full. So you're gonna go longer periods of time without eating. Um, if you're not hungry, don't make yourself eat because you're just gonna make yourself sick and you're, you may or may not kick yourself out of ketosis and put yourself at a stall. So if you're not hungry, don't eat. Um, but eat when you're hungry. If um, if you eat breakfast and you're not hungry again until 5, 6 o'clock at night, then I wouldn't force yourself to eat. And uh, just eat when you're hungry. Learn to listen to your body. Your body's going to tell you if you're hungry or not. You just have to learn how to listen to it. And I would also um, take some sort of multivitamin. Now, you don't have to. Um but I do recommend it because it, it's going to help you get in all of the nutrients that you need. Um, you, like you can get nutrients from other areas and I would also try to implement some type of collagen into your diet as well because you are going to notice some hair loss. Um, I have noticed quite a bit of hair loss and uh, I started taking some collagen and as you can see I've got some new growth going on here and it's just everywhere but uh, I would try to implement some collagen into your diet as well I would do some research on the best keto multivitamins that you can take and as for collagen I do recommend the perfect keto collagen they're a great company and uh, they make really good collagen and a lot of other products that you may or may not like and uh, for ketones and um, exogenous ketones and stuff like that, I do recommend 
prove it. They have a great range of, of ketones that you may or may not enjoy that will help you within your keto lifestyle. So I hope this helps you guys in some way. Um, if there's any questions that I that you have or anything that I forgot to mention just leave me a comment down below and I will try to implement that in another video or I will try to answer any questions that you guys have on the keto diet and help you out as much as possible because I just want the best for you guys and the keto diet has helped me so much not only with um, losing weight but me feeling better and more like myself than any other diet if that makes sense um, i've tried many many diets before and none of them have worked for me i even tried the keto diet uh, the, i even tried the vegan diet and it just didn't work for me and keto is the only diet that i found that works well with my body now there's so many diet the keto you know keto lifestyle segments out there that you can try you've got keto the strict keto you've got um, lazy keto and dirty keto whichever one that you try just pick one that works best for you and then go from there now i do lazy keto um it's right along the lines of lazy dirty keto but it works for my body and I've lost a significant amount of weight and I feel so much better on this diet and uh, like I said I just want the best for you guys and if you're interested in anything just DM me message me you can get me on any of my social media platforms such as um, Facebook Instagram or Twitter I will leave all of those down below for you guys you can also comment on um, the video and I will comment back to you guys as quickly as possible with any information that you asked for but uh, yeah guys I hope that helped you out just a little bit I know this video is going to be a little bit long but that's okay um, just as long as you guys get some valuable information out of this I don't really care how long it is I just want to help you guys so uh, I'm just going to cut this off right now and I will see you guys back in just a bit and we're going to make some tacos. Okay guys, this is just um, my little cheese shells that I made. It's just a cheddar cheese and then you just put it in the oven until it's all melted and it gets brown on the side. Now you can take these when they come out and shape them so when they cool they're like a taco shell. So they would look something like that. But I'm just going to leave mine like that so they can cool flat and I'm just going to top those on my taco salad and then over here we've got just some uh, taco sauce um, like salsa sauce um, and then we have some ground beef some uh, shredded cheddar cheese some shredded lettuce tomatoes sour cream and we've got hard shells and soft shells these are for my daughter so she can get whichever one that she wants and that's what we're having for dinner tonight, guys. We're having tacos. All right, guys. So I'm just going to end the vlog here. We're going to sit down, have a family night together, and eat some tacos. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And hit that little red subscribe button down below so you won't miss out on any of my videos. I upload new videos every single week, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.